Yes. So don't say anything that you don't want we recorded. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna have these meetings every week. But it's you know when you originally signed up it was gonna be three three lectures a week in person for an hour. So so this isn't that bad. It's survivable. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, we'll hold on a bit. All right. So if, uh, if you look at the bottom of your screen, there should be a little thing that says reactions, and then you have some emojis. Yeah. You can emojis up kind of answer questions so like you know okay there thank you and so that's one way you can answer questions without having to talk if you don't want to do that and so you can you can uh you can do that um otherwise sometimes i'll ask you for a question and i'm hoping people can participate and so we'll we'll do that okay we're at nine i was hoping for more but it's nine o'clock so i'm gonna get started Okay, so these are the Zoom meetings. We're going to have these, as I mentioned, on a weekly basis, and uh, there you'll receive a grade for them. It's not a lot, but it's something so that you show up and participate. Uh, it's a good time for me to get some feedback to find out if if, uh, <laughs> if if you know if I'm doing something incredibly wrong, uh, or if if you know something on Moodle's just not working. And, and so that, that can be very helpful for me. Okay, so you should be watching on Moodle short lectures. I'm trying to keep those to five to seven minutes, okay, so that people watch them. I notice if they're longer, people don't get through them. I can kind of track how, how things are going on. So that means there's gonna be three or maybe four of those each week, okay? I'm also going to put up there um, some animations. So there, this week there's three animations of, of uh, molecules interacting. Um, and so, so those are, are helpful. Sometimes they're better than the lectures. Um, then there's also going to be a quiz. Okay, the, the Moodle quiz. Let me, let me go to the, the screen here and see if I can show that. Um, a Zoom cloud meeting, and no, it's not this one. Uh, okay. Uh, so, at can you see the uh, our Moodle page? Anybody? Yes. Give me a thumbs up if you can see Moodle. No. Just the Zoom page. Just the Zoom page. Okay. Hold on. Let's stop sharing and we'll try again. Sometimes things don't go the way I plan. So let's try again. There's Zoom. Okay, there it is. Let's try this. Can you see it now? Moodle page, anyone? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. All right. So then these things here, there's going to always be this study guide that will have some vocabulary words and a list of key ideas. And then there's going to be these short lectures, okay? And then often I will have animations. So these are my animations. Sometimes they'll be embedded so that you can see the screen. Other times it'll just be a link. Um, and so uh, when it you know, like this week, it gets to be pretty big. And so more often than not, I'll just have them as, as uh, a link. And then there's the chapter quiz. Um, chapter quizzes, let's see here. Um, these, uh, well, shoot, let's go back. <laughs> chapter, the chapter quizzes only records the highest grade. And so you should be kind of picking these as frequently as you need to 
Usually that'll be two or three times. Um, and so, you know, you can, I mean, it, the first time through, if you don't know, guess <laughs> and, and see how it goes. Um, and, and so these are things that you should be taking repeatedly uh, because it's only gonna record the best grade. Okay, so, um, so that's that. And then there's also, um, where is it? The forum. Okay, and so the forum will likely have a link into it, a short lecture, maybe an article, and then it'll have some question that you'll have to answer. Okay, and so today's one has, um, this week's one has, um, you know, a little story about sugar, lactose, uh, DNA, and then a protein enzyme called lactase. Uh, and, and so, so there's a couple people that have tried it, but, but uh, by midweek you should have kind of looked at these things. This too is graded, not a huge amount, but it's, it's every week you're going to get one of these. Okay. Um, so let's see. Um, I think I went through and looked at uh, the quiz for week one. So I think most people took that and I'm gonna track you down if you didn't. Um, so that's, you've got, you're gonna look at the videos and the animations each week. Then you're gonna take a quiz, the forum and the discussion. And then every once in a while, we're gonna have an exam. Uh, and, and so when that ex exam comes, that's the biggest part of the grade. And so we work on those things week by week. Then in, in lab, it's going to be a quiz each week, uh, and then there'll be an assignment each week. And so we'll turn that stuff in. Uh, has anyone had any problem accessing any of the resources that are online? Links have worked. Generally, the, the links have all worked. That's not always the case. <laughs> when that happens, send me an email as soon as possible. Because usually I check it, but I don't always. And sometimes I'm moving things around and that's when I screw it up. Um, and so if it doesn't work, I might not be aware of that until someone sends me an email. If there's something that's wrong, if, if uh, you know, I record stuff and then I check it on my computer um, and I have, I do some stuff on my home computer, which is a Mac, and then I do some stuff on this thing that the uh, Highland gives me, which is a HP. Um, and sometimes going from one to the other, I screw up. And so then there can be problems that way. Let me know. Um, anybody have a question? Um, okay, so then another thing is I'm going to go back over the recording, and so if, if you could, <laughs> it would be really helpful to me so that I know who's here to give a grade to, if, if you could have your name, okay, instead of saying like hot babe on your thing, if you would just say your name. So um, if, if I, you know, it could be your last name, um, if, if you're if your first name is Emma or Emily, I probably need your last name because there's lots of Emmas and Emilies. Um, but you know, uh, if you you just say like Emma S, that often I can figure out. But I'm going to use the names to make sure to, that I know who's there. Okay, so so, so thank you. Um, that's that's helpful. That, that so I I can do that. Uh, then. Sometimes I will try and um, also say things that I, I don't say otherwise. So let's see. Let's. I'm going to share a screen again. Okay, and see how this goes. Can anybody see this uh, um, thing here that says how much time did you spend studying A and P this week? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so I'm hoping then that's everybody. Okay, so, what? Um, you know, like it's the first week of the semester and you look at the schedule 
or it's the second week and you think, oh yeah, it's three weeks away, forget it. <laughs> you know, um, and, but this is a hard course. This is a 200 level science course. And uh, if you, you know, uh, this book here, uh, right there, it's not like it's reading a letter or, you know, a really good novel that you want to get to the next chapter and find out what happened. It's a textbook. Um, it's, it can put people in a coma if they try and read two or three chapters in a single night. It's just boring. And so uh, you, you can't put all of this off till the night before an exam. You've got to, to, to figure this out and remember all this, it's going to take quite a bit of, of kind of keeping up on a regular basis. Um, and so later on in the semester, I'll talk about how memory go works. But, but I think people have a general idea is that we have, um, we have a couple types of memory and, and a lot of memory is short term. You know, you kind of know what you're doing now. You, you kind of know what's going on. You, you can feel the chair that you're sitting in or you can know who you're talking to. But uh, a lot of this short term memory will disappear. Okay. And that to put things into long term memory, which you're going to need if you're a healthcare professional, is, is going to be kind of harder. And what works with that is repetition is repetition and association with existing memories. And this means doing something repeatedly, that you can't expect to look at something difficult once and remember it. You can't expect to look at something the night before and remember it, um, that, that's not gonna happen. And so the key things in improving your, your memory are repetition, doing, listening to something over and over again. You know, if be, you know, if you, if you like the new Beyonce song and you're going to try and learn it, probably you'll listen to it 10 times, 20 times. It's the same thing with learning about the human body. You have to repeat it. And then also you have to link it to sensory inputs, to motor act put inputs. So if you write it, if you say it, if you try and draw it, you're much more likely to remember it than if you just read it once or twice. And so, so this is really important that, that you, you work with it in several different ways. And that's why we have labs in science, is that to kind of work with things in more than just reading, because it's, it's pretty hard. And then anything that's emotional um, helps, um, so that if something, you know, if you can link it, uh, you know, my family member has this issue, and so then I'm, it's important to me, and I'm likely to remember. And then lastly, we consolidate memories during sleep. Okay, and so, so sleeping is important and studying over a period of days is better than studying in one big chunk. Um, and this is, um, you've probably gotten the idea already, this is just one big memory exercise. Anatomy and physiology is a lot of memory. And, and you will know this stuff at some point. Um, it's just, you know, if, if you're gonna be a nurse or if you're going to be um, a physical therapist, you will know this. Um, and so you'll have to know it. So that means going over it repeatedly. Um, and of course, short bits, 10 minutes, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Look at it, go do something else. Look at it, go do something else. Um, that's the way to study here. Is, is to look at it. And, and like I said, this is hard to read in one long sitting. Um, and so you can't, you can't do well on a test if you just study the night before. You have to do it repeatedly. Um, and, and so, um, you know, sometimes it'll seem like someone that knows it is like they're a genius. That's not the truth. They've just been working with it. Um, you know, and so like, I know all this stuff, but that's because I've been teaching this course for 20 some years. And, and so then it, it, you know, after, after 10 times, okay, you know, I, I got it. I don't have to look at the book. I don't have to look at my notes. Um, you know, and what's amazing is when I see my former students and their practicing nurses, often they're, they're so up on it because they deal with it every day. And, and so they, you know, they, they get into that routine. So, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. This is what we do. 
you know, this is how it goes. This is what that organ looks like. This is how it functions. And so it's hard to do that at the start. And that's doing it at small chunks of time. Okay. All right. So, you know, for me, my big study aids, when I was in school, I would use the book. I would have a timer that I would set. It was just this, this spring timer. So I would just turn it. It was, you know, I'd study till the ding, till it went off. So 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes at a crack. And then I would go to the refrigerator <laughs> and see what was there or the cabinet. And I'd look around for, for cookies or crackers or whatever was there. So I would study in these small bits. And that's, that's really helpful. Um, and I, you know, I still have to study, but, but now I, you know, I study in small bits and then I have to, I have to get my kit and see what he's doing. Every 15 minutes I have to find him so that, that I know, okay, it's all right. Um, but it's small bits, little bits at a time, 10, 15 minutes, you know, day after day after day, keep doing that and it'll, it'll come out okay. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Okay. All right. Well, I was unable to um, log in at first, so I think I missed the first part of the session. I don't know if this, if I can look at it later, or I don't know what I missed. I will post it. Okay. So these, I record these, and then as long as nobody says anything that's going to cause anybody outrage, I will post it. And so as as long as you know someone doesn't reveal I've got cancer or you know something like that something embarrassing doesn't happen or you know who knows <laughs> what might happen there might be a reason I don't post it but if the recording looks okay I'll post it um, and usually what I'm doing is just trying to find out how things are going on trying to give you pointers um, it's a chance for me to get feedback it's a chance for you to tell me you know I looked at that and it didn't make any sense um, you know, that's, I, or I need more help on that. Can you, can you give us more on that? Uh, or there was a question on the quiz that I just can't get. I, I don't know that I've got the right answer. So I, I want, I want times when you guys can talk to me, um, that you can tell me stuff or you can ask me questions. And I, I, I check the emails, but sometimes it's nice to see somebody's face. I mean, you get into teaching cause you kind of like people. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so this, this is worse for me than it is for you. I'm talking into a screen all the time. I'm getting, you know, it's just, it's boring and I don't get any feedback and I don't know if it's working or all, who knows if anybody's watching any of this stuff, um, you know, and so I, I, I need some feedback and I would like you to be, have a chance to do that. Um, and, and so I think, I think that's a helpful thing. Um, and I, I do give you points for this because I want to, you know, we have a schedule. I want us to keep on schedule. And so I want you to get in the habit of studying anatomy. Um, you know, nursing will go better. Physical therapy school will go better. If you, if you get into the habit of, you know, a little bit of time, just keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. Um, you know, no doctor or nurse is a genius. They've just kept at it for a while. And, and that's, that's what's, what's going to happen for us is that you guys are going to keep at it. And in two years, you'll come back and say, Mr. Nowicki, that was so easy. Now this other stuff is hard. But, but that's what's going to happen if, if, if you get in the habit. It's, it's a habit. Just get in a habit. Um, I, it really worked well for a timer for me. Um, I could use my watch now. Now they have watches that are smarter than me. Um, but but you know, to get into these little habits, the, that's important because you've got to, um, you know, nobody's going to remember everything, but you have to remember, oh yeah, that's something about this. Okay. I can look here and I can, so I can do it fast. You know, you're going to take these exams at home, but if, if it's not familiar, you're not going to be able to, to answer the question in the time of that you have, because the, the exams go faster than the quizzes. Um, there's, you know, there's going to be more questions than you'll only get an hour. And so you've got to be pretty fast. Okay. okay, with the quizzes, um, we're not able to see which ones we got wrong. Right, but that's because yeah, you, that you can take it as many times as you want. Um, and so because you can take it as many times as you want, 
I, I don't have an unlimited supply of questions. <laughs> um, and so, so I've only got like 15 or 20 questions each week. Okay. And, and, and so just keep plowing through it, take it over again. Um, you know, um, the, what'll happen is that good students will, will figure this out and I'll see them, I'll see them take the quiz 10 times and it'll be eight, 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 nine, ten. <laughs> and so, so they'll figure out which questions we're giving them problems and then they'll, they'll take them better. And, and that you can take a 10 question quiz pretty fast. Um, you know, and, and, uh, and, you know, if you, if you think about it, there are ways that, you know, okay, if I don't know that question, I will, you know, I will, I will try the other questions like, you know, like this, and then I will focus on that one. Um, so it's, I, if I'm going to let you take it as many times as you want, I can't give you the answers. Okay. But, but that means the strategy that you have to have is take it repeatedly, take it repeatedly don't agonize over it. You can take it as many times as you want. Just try this answer, try that answer, um, and you'll get it. Um, so, so don't, you know, don't grind yourself into a, a whole, you know, trying to do one question. Take it again. Take it again. Take it again. Take it again. Try a different answer. Take it again. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Any questions? I'm, I'm running up, I have a 25 minute limit here, so I'm running up against the time. So I will, question? pardon? It can be any question. Uh, any, any, yeah, any question, but if it's the wrong question, then I can't post the video later. <laughs> okay, well, I have a question regarding an exercise that we had to take a photo of and do. Okay. Now, I was confused on three questions. Um, I believe it was 30, 31, and 32. <laughs> Okay, let me get to the right page here. So this is you're talking in the lab manual, right? Okay, 31. Even though I already submitted it, I just wanted to make sure if I was okay. incorrect or correct. Okay. Um, so these are, um, these are relative direction uh, questions. And um, the first two, so they're dealing with, the first one is superficial and deep. Okay, so the, the two choices when you're talking about relative directions, usually it's this or that. And so superficial means towards the surface, surface and deep means away from the surface. Um, and so uh, these are generally things that lie on top of each other. And so the scalp is the skin on top of the head. The brain is deep to the scalp. Um, so, so that should be that, 31, 32. Okay, again, relative position front to back, which would be, you could answer this using two different sets of terms. There's ventral and dorsal. Ventral means towards the, the, the front or chest. Dorsal means towards the back. Um, so the nipples are ventral to the, the, the shoulder blades, or you could use anterior and posterior, okay? And so you, you, have, you have those choices. So with relative direction terms, sometimes there's choices, um, but the terms are always used in specific ways. Um, so you could say like the, in anatomical position, the hands are inferior to the elbow, but you could also say they're distal because you could use, you could use a, a second set of terms. Um, so sometimes there are those choices. Um, okay. For 30, I put distal. Am I wrong for 30? Because I put distal. No, that's fine. That's okay. fine. But you could, you could also, whenever we're referring to terms, we're also referring to anatomical position. And so like he's in anatomical position. So, so you could also use um, the fingers are inferior to the arm. Okay. But I like, I like distal better. I think that's a better better choice, but you could use the other one. That's correct. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Anybody else? Those are good questions. Thank you for answer, asking. It's, you know, it's really risky to be the first one asking the questions. You have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> at least it seems that way, doesn't it? Um, so, okay. All right, so we're going to do this again next week on Wednesday. 
we'll we'll just get into the habit of doing this. That's it's good to come in, you know, like with with you know, okay, I, I didn't get this one. I'm going to ask about this one, um, and so that's that's a good thing to do. Um, you know, if um, you know, my I'm making my little videos very short. If if you know, if, if something's like saying, you know, I just didn't get that. This is a time when I can I can kind of go into more detail on a certain topic, and so we can we can do that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. All right. So is our first yeah. quiz or test this week. We're going to have a, a lab quiz. Okay, but it'll be online. I'm, I'm, that'll probably show up today. And again, you'll have multiple, multiple days to take it. Okay. Um, and so, so I, you know, one of the problems for me with online stuff is I have to write an incredible number of questions. And so it, it gets to be, <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling <laughs> with that. And so, so I don't get everything ready necessarily on Monday. Sorry. Right. Um, I have a quick question. Sure, Lupe, go ahead. Uh, yes. Um, so when we're talking about on chapter two atoms, where it says um, usually the number of protons and electrons are the same, but the neutrons sometimes are the similar, but the heifer, would we would we have to know how to find the number of neutrons or no? Um, well, you won't have to know that. I would always tell you. Um, mm -hmm that you know you can have two different two different types of carbon and sometimes they all all the carbon atoms will have six protons but sometimes some will have six neutrons some will have seven neutrons i would tell okay. you that and you would okay. just have to know they're separate isotopes okay, okay. um i wouldn't give you i'm not going to give you the the periodic table and ask you to fill it in or anything like that um I, you know, uh, the questions I would ask are pretty similar on a test would be similar to the ones on the quiz. And usually I would tell you it's a carbon atom. It has this, this, and this. What might be its charge if it's got six protons and, but it's only got five electrons. And you'd have to say, well, okay, it's plus one. Okay. okay. All right. Any other questions? Those are, those are good. I have a question about the exam. Will the questions for the exam be taken from the quizzes, the lab quizzes and the lecture quizzes, or from the assignments from the laboratory manual? Uh, are you talking about the lab exam or the... Uh, <laughs> so, so, the lab, so the lab exam, which will be an in-person exam, that will, and I, I will show you some examples of those when we get closer, but that will be, it's called a practical exam, which means I will have, a, you know, I will have, um, you know, a chunk of organ there and there'll be a pin in it and I'll just say name this or name that. Um, there might be a model and a piece of tape on it and it might say name this or name that. And so the lab exam is mostly kind of naming things from either an actual specimen or a model, or sometimes it might be a diagram that we produce by uh, doing an experiment, okay? The lecture exams, which will be online, are going to be, the questions will be, some of them might come off the chapter quiz, chapter quizzes, Others will be new but similar to the questions you've had on chapter quizzes. So it, it might have ask a similar thing, but in a slightly different way. Okay. So, um, and uh, what's taking me longer <laughs> with the, the lab quiz is normally lab quizzes have illustrations and diagrams, and I'm struggling how to figure out to get that into the Moodle thing. And so, so, so that's taking me longer. And so, you know, this, this first one or two won't be so great, <laughs> but, but it, it will, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get it right. I, you know, I, that's at least my hope. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So I'm, I'm hard up against 25 minute and the 30 minute warming. So I'm going to stop. Okay. I will post this online. I don't know if anybody will watch it. If you miss it, 
it's it'll be posted but these are graded so i i go and i look and see who's there and then then i'll you'll see a great pop up for you and so hopefully next time there'll be more people <laughs> because they may notice that what's that zero doing there okay <laughs> okay i have one question one question okay um, how will we how will we know what we got on our grades like if we turn it in you have not graded anything yet um, well, the, if, you go to, if you go to the grading section, the Moodle quiz grades pop up. And as you get a higher grade, it'll pop up. Um, the, I haven't graded, no, I, haven't gra <laughs> I haven't graded the forums yet. I haven't graded uh, the, the lab stuff you submitted. I kind of wait till that comes, till at, I'm pretty sure all of it's in before I do it, because otherwise stuff comes in and I've got to go see if I, I graded it. So, so that takes me a little longer to grade. Generally, if you turn something in, um, I'm hopeful that I can get it graded within a week. Okay. So, so, so that's, 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 <laughs> but if you turn it in late, then you know, who knows? Uh, then it's, it's when I get to it. You know, once you're late, I figure I can be late. And, and so, okay. All right. Good questions. Anybody else? All right. So I'll see you on Friday for the lab. Again, face mask. Uh, we're going to look at microscope. You have a survey you're going to bring. Okay. It's filled out both sides. It's a piece of paper. You'll bring that back. Okay. And so we'll, we'll look at that then. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you Friday. Okay. Bye.